Moving on to the next example. In 18 years, your child's university education will cost $100,000. You have $23,000 to invest today. What annual percentage must you earn? Or what annual percentage must your investment of $23,000 earn in order to cover that cost of $100,000 in 18 years? So to show this kind of in a diagram, our present value is $23,000, the amount we have to invest today. And we have to grow that amount of $23,000 to $100,000. And it has to be $100,000 in 18 years. So what annual percentage do we have to earn in order for that to happen? So the first way, let's solve it algebraically. So this is the compound interest formula. And since nothing is mentioned, we assume that we're dealing with compound interest. So let's, uh, instead of isolating for the variable first in the equation, let's just plug everything in and then solve for that R. So our future value is 100,000. Our present value is 23,000. And then we have one plus R in the brackets. And then our T, the number of periods, is 18. So now what we have to do is we have to get this R by itself. We have to isolate for it. So the first thing we would do is we would get rid of this $23,000 in front. So we would multi or, uh, divide rather both sides by 23,000. So dealing with that left side first, 100,000 divided by 23,000 would give us 4.347826. And then on the right side, notice the 23,000s cancel out and we're just left with one plus r to the power of 18. And now to get rid of that power 18 on the right side, we would take both sides to the power of one over 18. And the reason why that works is, let's review a little algebra here. So if we got a to the power of x and that equals b, and we wanna get the a by itself, well, if we take both sides to the power of one over x, the reciprocal of that exponent, x times 1 over x, that just gives you 1. So a to the power of 1 would just be a. So notice how now the a is by itself, and we have b to the power of 1 over x. So a to the power of x equals b. If we want the a by itself, we would just take the other side to the power of the reciprocal. Same thing here. If we want to get this 1 plus r by itself, we would take both sides to the uh, power of the reciprocal of that exponent, so to the power of 1 over 18 and then that one plus r is by itself. And this is actually the same thing as the 18th root of 4.34. I'm not gonna write the rest of the decimal. So something to the power of one over 18 or the 18th root of it, those are the same thing. So then when you take that 4.347826 to the power of one over 18, making sure that when you take that exponent and it's also in brackets, you would get 1.085, and that's equal to one plus r, so when you bring the one over, 1.085 minus one, so we get 0.0854 r, approximately, or 8.5%. So that's the annual percentage that you must earn if you invest $23,000 for eight years, compounded annually, you would get $100,000 to cover the cost for your child's university education. Now, algebraically, another thing you could have done before plugging in all the numbers, you could have isolated for the R with the formulas. So if you do that, you would divide both sides by the present value, then take it to the power of one over T and then subtract one. So this is the formula here from uh, the uh, compound interest formula where we've isolated for R. And then we can just plug in everything. The 100,000 for the future value, present value 23,000, one over the T value of 18. So then doing that and then subtracting one, we would get the same answer of 0.0854R. Now we can also solve this problem with a financial calculator. So like usual, you wanna write out your five variables. The N is the number of periods we're dealing with and we have 18 years, so we know n is gonna be 18. The interest rate per period, that's what we're actually solving for. We're solving for that uh, annual rate. So that would be a question mark. The payment, any cash flows per period. So are there any cash flows happening within the period? Well, no, there isn't because we're just investing $23,000 and then we have to get back 100,000. 
So the present value is what we're investing today. And since we're investing it, it's a cash outflow for us. So that would be negative 23,000. And then the future value, we're getting that $100,000 back. So that would be positive. Now you may be asking yourself, well, aren't we taking that $100,000 and then paying the university? Well, that's a separate transaction. I'm talking about only what happens in the bank account. When you're looking um, from the perspective of the bank account, we're putting $23,000 in the bank account, that's negative, and then we're taking $100,000 out of the bank account. So that's money coming towards us, so it's positive. And it's really crucial that when you're inputting both a PV and an FE number in your calculator that you get the positives and negatives right. Because when you're solving for either the PV or the FE, even if you screw up the uh, signs, which is bad, but it's not too bad because at least you'll get the right number. However, in this case, because we have to input both the PV and the FE, you have to make sure that you get those uh, positive and negatives correctly. So then when we input those variables in the financial calculator and solve for the IY or compute it, we would get 8.51. So that represents our percentage. Here we got uh, 8.5 and I actually rounded this. So uh, this is probably more uh, accurate. So in conclusion, two different ways to calculate the uh, interest rate. The algebraic way is a bit of a headache. It's still good to know, but uh, what's mostly crucial is knowing how to use the financial calculator and making sure that you get those positive and negatives correctly and you should be able to get the uh, interest rate correctly as well. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.